Hi everyone! Today we are going to be learning about Acimena trilobia aldunal, otherwise known as the pawpaw. This is a small deciduous tree that can reach about 20 to 40 feet tall and can typically be found growing in colonies. Here we have a photo of four pawpaw trees all right next to each other and most likely they're all clones, meaning that they are genetically identical. They typically clone themselves through their root systems, and each pawpaw tree has a relatively short lifespan and will stick around for about 50 years. Also, pawpaws are in the custard apple family, which includes many tropical trees and shrubs such as the soursop. The native range of the pawpaw tree is the eastern United States as well as parts of the Midwest and Canada. Hardiness zones 5 through 8 are suitable for growing pawpaws outside year-round. And here we have the twig of a pawpaw tree. Now looking at the way the buds are attached, we can see that the pawpaw has an alternate leaf arrangement. And here we have the apical bud, which is naked and pubescent. When a bud is naked, it lacks bud scales and is typically protected by the leaves. The lateral buds are similar to the apical bud, but smaller. And the pith of a pawpaw is diaphragmed, meaning that it is solid, but has thin crossed walls. Now the bark of a pawpaw is smooth, gray with some splotches, and also has some very prominent lenticels. The lenticels are those tiny holes on the bark. Now looking at the leaves, they are simple due to the leaf not being broken into leaflets. They also have a smooth margin and are pinnate because they resemble a feather. A special trait these leaves have is when they are crushed, they release an odor that is very similar to that of a green bell pepper. Pawpaw trees flower any time between February and May, and when they do flower, they produce these large maroon bell-shaped flowers. Each flower is perfect, meaning that it has both male and female reproductive organs, as well as three sepals, three inner petals, and three outer petals. The flowers are pollinated by flies and beetles, and the fruit of a pawpaw is considered a berry, and it is pale green when it first appears. As it matures about August to September, the outside will turn greenish yellow or brown. However, the best indicator that a pawpaw is ripe is if it is soft. If the fruit is still hard, then it isn't ripe yet. Before a pawpaw is ripe, the inside will be white, but once it is ripe, the flesh will turn orange. It is important to make sure that you have a ripe pawpaw because the seeds, twigs, and unripe fruit are poisonous to humans. The seeds themselves are large, dark brown seeds. Each pawpaw will have on average about 2 to 15 seeds depending on the size and shape of the fruit. Alrighty, that is all for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed learning about Asmina triloba, otherwise known as the pawpaw tree with me. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my future videos. Thanks for watching!